that I've uh, removed the color cast in this image, I'm going to work on enhancing the saturation and color. Uh, and whenever we need to work on saturation, it suggests a move in LAB. So to do that, I'm going to actually duplicate this image now. I'll go to Image and Duplicate. And we're going to duplicate the merged layers. So we're going to end up with a copy. And I'm going to change this copy to LAB. I go up here to the Image menu, Mode, LAB Color. Now normally we would apply curves here to enhance the saturation, but I'm going to use layer modes to achieve the similar result. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to take the background and drag it down here to the new layer icon, duplicate the layer. So now I have a copy of the background sitting on top of itself. We're going to change the apply mode under the layers tab here, the flyaway menu, go down from normal to overlay. Overlay is a contrast enhancing uh, apply mode and you can see now that it's really popped the color and the contrast. However, I'd really rather it didn't affect the contrast so strongly and it's really sort of washed out the sky. Um, so we're going to return to our friend the blending options to help us out here. I'll go over to my layer options flyaway, select blending options, and here's my Blending Options dialog. Um, if you look over here, you can see we have the channels all checked, L, A, B. The L channel contains all the luminosity information in the image and the value structure of the image. If I uncheck this, I take off the effect, the contrast enhancing effects of that overlay blend, uh, and I'm only affecting the A and the B channel, which contain the color information of the image. Now, I've got really nice, happy, saturated colors, but maybe it's just a little bit too much, especially the sky. Um, but also, the, the yellow, orange poppies are now just really a little too saturated. So, my, in my blend if area here, I'm going to change from lightness first to the A channel which controls the magenta green axis of the color. And right in the middle of the gradient, where it would be neutral, it is, is gray. You can kind of see visually how uh, they've represented this here. Um, if we move this white point triangle over to the center, we can see in the image that we remove the effect of the saturation enhancement off of everything that has any magenta in it, and that would be the, the orange flowers. So first I'm going to move here to the center, and I'll hold down my Option or Alt key to split apart that little triangle. Okay, so now we're going to move the right half of the triangle to the right just a little bit until we start getting just enough of that orange color back. And that's, that's looking pretty nice to me now. And we're going to go to the B channel to take care of the blue. The blue sky is a little over amped. So I'm going to work the black triangle here in the, B, in the B channel to move everything that's blue move it right to the center. And here now you see there's no saturation enhancement going on in the sky. If I want to bring back just a little bit of that, I'll hold down the Option key split apart that triangle and bring back a little bit of that blue sky. Just enough to get me a nice happy saturated blue color. Alright, so let's check our work here. I'll toggle this on and off. So you can see how using overlay in LAB mode creates a lot of saturation and contrast. By unchecking the L channel in the blending options dialog, 
we can remove the effect of the contrast from the value of the image, and we end up only with a saturation enhancement, as you can see here. Let's do that one more time. I'll remove the effect starting with the background. I duplicate the background by dragging onto the new layer icon. Change my apply mode from normal to overlay. I get a lot of contrast and saturation enhancement. To remove the saturation enhancement, I'll select blending options here. Uncheck the L channel. And now I'm left only with saturation. We go to the A channel and slide the slider over to the center to take off the saturation from the orange poppies. Hold down Option or Alt, split the triangle apart, and slide the right half over to the right to bring back a little bit of that saturated color. Do the same thing the B channel. The black slider over to the center to remove the, the blue saturation effect. Hold down the option or alt. Slide the channel, the, the, the triangle, the left hand side back to bring back some of that uh, saturation enhancement. All right, now we're going to bring this image back into our overall composite. I'm going to flatten the image here. Select flatten image. Now, you, you may have noticed here that I'm working in CS4, and I have three documents here nested. Um, and I'm really primarily working with the center document here. I have to pull this tab away. So now I have my LAB saturated document in a separate window. And the reason I'm doing that is that I want to drag it back into my RGB document, my layers. Um, and so I'm going to use the Move tool here. Select the Move tool. Hold down the Option key. I'm going to click somewhere in the center of this uh, new document window here and drag out into the other document window. And you can see the little gray outline. When I let go, as long as you hold down on the Shift key, it will drop the image right in the center so that they're perfectly registered. So now you can see we have the more saturated version sitting on top of the other version. Now I'm going to throw this away, close that because I don't need it anymore. All right, now we're going to start working on the contrast in this image. Right now I've got the saturation layer sitting on top of my original layers and the next steps are going to involve uh, improving the saturation and contrast in the image. So stay tuned for part three, where we're going to really work some magic.